Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Today's the day, the sun is shining, the tank is clean, I am leaving the house. Sorry what, I'm leaving the house for the first time since June. Yes, I have a doctor's appointment. I get to leave and go see the doctor and interact with a human that's not my husband. Now, I'm running late. Good to see nothing's changed. Lockdown has not given me a proper sense of uh, timing. I need to be leaving in 15 minutes. And uh, look, a huge part of me just wants to throw on a hoodie and just go like this, like just leave my hair like this, wear the dirty pants I've been gardening in. Because really, I, I don't need to impress the doctor. He doesn't care what I look like. But the fact that this is my first time leaving, the last time I left was in June when I had to go to a chemist to pick up medication and I haven't stepped foot off my driveway <laughs> since then. So I'm kind of like, oh, you know what? I don't know when lockdown's gonna end. So I may as well make the most of it and wear something nice. So, what is the nicest thing I could possibly think to wear that's nice enough that I'll feel good but won't be so over the top that my doctor's gonna be like, yeah, you need a more serious medical help. The answer to that, my friends, that would be House of CB. Now, if you guys saw my other House of CB video from a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I bought a few dresses from House of CB and I was blown away. I absolutely loved them and uh, a bunch of my subscribers loved them too. So, how long have I got? Oh my god, <laughs> I have 15 minutes before I have to be out the door. Alright, so dress number one, we have the Alicia White Floral Midi Sundress and uh, this one is 281 Australian dollars. Now, uh, I got this exact dress in yellow in my last video and I love it. Next is the Carmella Black Sheared Midi Sundress. This one is 241 Australian dollars. Uh, a little bit cheaper than the previous one, but also doesn't feel anywhere near as nice. This fabric is nowhere near as luxe as this fabric. It also doesn't seem to have as many layers in it. This one's got multiple layers. It feels very heavy. This one, you know what? I don't, th I really, without trying it on, I don't think that this is worth the 200 and something dollars. To me, this is more of like a $80 dress maybe from Glassons. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. This is the Alicia blush pink midi sundress. This one's $281. This is the same dress as the white one and also as my yellow one, the Alicia style. I love this. I love this style. I don't love the fact that the sleeves are not secured. They are quite literally just bows and you kind of have to do it up yourself and it can be a little bit awkward to tie the bow on your shoulder. <laughs> this one is like almost exactly the same shade as my phone case so I'm kind of leaning towards wanting to wear this. Also uh, it's just turned springtime here in Australia so good opportunity to wear like a, a sundress kind of thing. Oh this! I wasn't gonna buy this but a lot of people asked me to review it. So this is the Francesca black draped bandage dress. This was $180, it was on sale. I like a good sexy girl boss moment and I love dresses with sleeves. I would totally wear this today, but there's something about this plunging neckline that uh, does and does not say, hello doctor. Finally, well not really finally because something didn't turn up, but uh, Finally, we have another Tallulah dress. The Tallulah dress from my first video was definitely the most popular one. I got it in yellow. People went crazy for it. So many people ended up buying it. Uh, this one is $260. It's the Tallulah pink floral puff sleeve midi dress. And uh, the Tallulah is definitely my favorite style. I absolutely love it. It's the most flattering cut. It doesn't matter what your body shape is. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I also got this in blue and white. I paid for it. Um, it, it didn't come. Uh, I have been chasing it with their customer service team for like six months. So they lose points there. They have a hundred points to Gryffindor for the most beautiful clothing ever. Uh, and then also like minus 30 points, I would say for where's my other $280 dress that I paid for and never got. Anyway, well, I was just talking for six minutes, so now I have eight minutes left to get ready. Uh, I... I'm gonna try and put on some makeup and do my hair nicely. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna wear this one. 
because it matches my phone case. And speaking of my phone case, my phone case is from Casetify. If you guys don't know Casetify, it's a very popular phone case brand that I have seen all over the internet. They do personalized phone cases. They have shock resistant cases. They have a huge range of really great quality phone cases. And if it weren't for Casetify, the sponsor of today's video, I wouldn't have been able to buy these incredible dresses. Yes, I just wanna make it abundantly clear that uh, this is not normal spending behavior. I am only able to buy these beautiful dresses because companies are willing to work with me and I try to be very, very selective about the companies I do my sponsorships with. I, I only like to work with companies that I either already use or it's a product that if they do send it to me and I check it out and I really like it, I'm like, okay, I know people are gonna love this. And you guys are gonna love Casetify. Casetify's slim and protective cases come in tons of designs. So you can pick your favorite color or print to match your style. You can even personalize your case for something a little bit uh, fancy schmancy. Their impact cases are engineered with two layers of Chi Tech and can protect your phone in drops of up to 9.8 feet. That's nearly three meters for my fellow metric system users. In fact, let's try that out now. So as you can see, here is my humble little iPhone. It's got no cracks, no breakages, no damage. And now watch as I place all of my faith in case Casetify and drop my phone, just as they asked me to do as part of the sponsorship. So, as you can see, everything is totally fine. Everything is A-OK, -okay. it's all working, the case is totally fine too. This is my old iPhone. I just had a normal case on this when it fell out of my pocket and it didn't even fall from that much of a height either. And that's what happened to it. Case to pie cases are also protected with an antimicrobial coating to keep your case germ free. And both their range of impact and ultra impact cases are made with 50% recycled materials. So your phone can look great and you can feel great too. Go to casetify.com slash prettypastel today and get 15% off your order. Casetify cases make for great gifts. I love receiving personalized gifts. Like my one here, I've got Alex on this one. I've got this one here with Pretty Pastel Please. Or you can choose a print to best suit your outfit or your mood. So if you wanna pick one up for yourself, go to casetify.com slash prettypastel to get 15% off your order. I had forgotten how stressful it is to run late for something. I had completely forgotten. Oh dear, I am so late. 10.05, oh God, I should have left five minutes ago. Okay, and here I am. I am ready, I'm ready for the outside world. Uh, I definitely, definitely need a jumper or a coat or something because it's actually really cold. It was really warm yesterday, now it's, now it's freezing. So um, here's the dress, I actually think it's like a tiny little bit too tight. This runs small because the last one that I got was also a small, but it wasn't as small as this. Anyway, I really like it, it's beautiful. Um, and I need to put on a jumper. Little cardigan from Princess Polly because, you know, as much as I would like to try on 10 different alternatives, I, I simply do not have time. But I have to go, I will be back and I will talk about the other dresses when I get back. Oh my God, fingers crossed I remember how to drive. Fingers crossed my car will start, oh my God. We're in business. Oh my god, the roads are empty. There's like, there, okay, there was a car there, but oh no, never mind, I'll take it back. God, what the f Why are there all these cars around? What sort of f lockdown is this? For those of us that have done the right thing this whole time, you know, like those of us that just have not left, I, I don't go pick up groceries, I get my groceries delivered. I haven't had any sneaky meetups with friends in a park under the guise of exercise. I've just done the right thing the whole time. And for someone like me to leave my house for the first time and see a group of people lining up to get a coffee and having a chat with the other people in the line, I'm like, do, do these people realize that they are the reason that it's spreading here? If you behave like that, you are the reason. <laughs> I do. Anyway. You know, I just stopped at a traffic light next to a shop and um, we have a mask mandate, you know, like you're, you have to wear a mask in public. Anytime you're outside of your house, you have to wear a mask for exercise, for anything. And uh, there's people wandering around outside that shopping center back there without masks on and also with their mask under their nose. Uh, if you wear your mask under your nose, 
You need to take a long, hard look at yourself, my friend. I know that you're smart enough to know that air comes out of your nose, and in fact, the air that comes out of your nose is indeed the same air that comes out of your mouth. It's not separate. It's not like the air from your nose doesn't carry particles because of your nose hairs. I know that you know that you're only wearing the mask around your mouth, so it looks like you're wearing a mask. That's the only reason you're doing it, so you don't get in trouble. So you can say, oh, I'm wearing a mask. Look, it's on my face, even though it's uh, not actually performing its key function, which is to stop your filthy air getting all over people. No, really, if you are the sort of person that leaves your house with your mask under your nose, the names that I want to call you are not safe for YouTube. But really, I, I really beg you, if you are that sort of person, that like this girl right here in front of me, it's under her chin. She, it's the chin diaper. She's literally, she's standing at this traffic light. She's wearing headphones, listening to music. Oh no, no, she's talking. I can see her mouth moving. She's, she's talking. I can see her mouth moving because her mouth isn't covered. Oh, they're tooting me. Oh, I had a green light because I'm uh, <laughs> so mad at that girl. I didn't realize that was green light. She's just standing there and her, her, mask was under her chin and there were three other people at the intersection and they were wearing masks unless you've got plugs in your nose so that air doesn't pass through your nostrils you're doing nothing and if you don't have the decency to wear the mask the way that you should to prevent the spread if you don't have the decency to do that or if you find it uncomfortable and annoying then stay at home just stay at home Every one of us here, every person watching this video has a grandparent, whether you know them or not. Every one of us that is alive, we weren't created in a jar just yet. We're not there yet. All of us have ancestors. And almost every one of us would have ancestors from way back when that would have fought in a war to protect their country. Both of my grandparents served. I know a lot of your grandparents probably served. Ever heard of conscription? You know, where you are uh, made? to fight for your country, to put your life on the line to fight for your country. We come from people that did that. People that served, they fought and died for their country. All we're asking you to do for your country is wear a mask and you can't do that. Take a long, hard look at yourself because you're selfish. You only care about yourself. You don't care about anyone else because if you had the slightest ounce of concern for other people, you would put yourself in a little bit of discomfort for the 10 minutes that you might need to go to the shops. Because even if you're vaccinated and you know that you're safe, which by the way, being fully vaccinated doesn't 100% guarantee that you're safe. But even if you're vaxxed and you're safe, that doesn't mean that you can't transmit the virus to other people. Are you aware of that? I mean, I'm sure you are <laughs> and you just choose not to care. So please, next time that you go to leave the house with your mask under your nose or on your chin because you don't think that you're going to get sick, please just take a moment to think about other people. I'm so passionate about this because, you know, um, I don't talk about this ever, but my parents are older uh, and I mean like significantly older. They had me very late in life and they are the most high risk. And, um, you know, if I lost my mum or my dad because one of you wits decided to go out and about and spread your germs and my mum and dad who have been hiding at home for the past two years just about, if, if they got their groceries delivered to their door and some person had picked up that can of soup in the aisle and got their germs on it and then my dad got it and then my dad died, I don't know how I would ever move on. I don't know how I would cope. My parents mean the world to me. Um, and it is so frustrating to see people that just care about themselves and they don't care about anyone else. They say, oh, well, I'm young, I'm fit. I won't get sick. Nothing will happen to me. Well, that's all well and good. But what about those of us who have medical conditions like my husband, who almost died a couple of years ago from pneumonia. Uh, he would probably die if he got COVID. And he's a young, healthy young man. But because of his pre-existing medical conditions, he would probably have a really hard time. And when I leave the house and I see people that can't do the most simple thing to help those around them, it is truly the most disheartening thing I can imagine. <laughs> and um, 
Anyway, I'm lost. I I was so busy ranting that uh, I, I've never been to this doctor before, so I, I don't actually know where it is. So I'm, I have to go because I... <sighs> anyway, goodbye. Okay, I'm in the car park. I'm waiting. We don't uh, do waiting in waiting rooms anymore. We wait in the car. I have my N95 mask, P2, made in Australia. You guys might remember from my last House of CB video, uh, I was wearing like matching masks. Uh, I got some face masks from House of CB. They were fabric masks and as beautiful as they are, and as much as I love to wear like a matching face mask for my outfit, uh, when I did that video, Australia was only dealing with the regular strain of COVID. We didn't have Delta here. And fun fact, we actually completely eradicated COVID. Like it, it was flat out gone. Every case of COVID that's in Australia now is Delta. There is no normal COVID. We got rid of COVID. It was gone. We were living a wonderful life. And then our premier, the lady in charge of our state, because she cares more about businesses than she cares about individuals, when the Delta strain arrived on our shores through hotel quarantine and then got out into the community, she didn't lock us down until it was too late because she wanted to keep businesses open. And um, now here we are with like a thousand and something cases a day, higher case numbers than we ever saw at the start because Delta transmits at a much higher rate. So uh, anyway, because it's such a serious strain of the virus, I am no longer wearing fabric face masks. Uh, I mean, even these like N95, P2 masks, even they're not going to be 100% effective, but it gives you a much better chance. Anyway, I've got my single use here. Might not match my, um, my outfit. You know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Even though it's not a, a pretty mask, doesn't look too bad. And look, I can wear my glasses with it and they don't fog up because it seals so tightly around my nose that my glasses won't fog. Oh, would you look at the, look. <laughs> huh, this is, this is one of my House of CB masks. I wonder if, you know what? Is that a bad idea? Yeah, you know, I, I would totally say, oh, you could wear a fabric one over the top of your proper one. But the problem with that is that any additional fabric that you have on you, if particles land on it, you are now covered in COVID particles. So it's actually better to reduce the amount of surface that might be able to pick things up. But uh, anyway, I'm just waiting in the car park now. So even though I was late, lucky for me, doctors are always later. <laughs> oh, it's getting very warm. Oh, I do not regret wearing this dress now. You know, Sam and Dan gave me this like fancy Fitbit for my birthday. It's like a smartwatch. It's supposed to, okay, it's apparently 15 degrees Celsius. Well, not in here. It's like 30 degrees in here. Oh, I didn't really have a moment to tell you guys, but I'm wearing my uh, Princess Polly sneakers with the daisies on them. And they actually look really cute. It's funny, when I was getting ready, I was like, I can't wear high heels to the doctor. I just, I cannot. That would be ridiculous. I need to wear flats. And then I thought, hmm, pink flats? No, I don't have the exact matching shade of pink for this dress. White flats? I don't own white flats. White sneakers? And then I thought, no, I can't wear sneakers with a pretty dress. And then I put it on and I was like, what am I talking about? I shall henceforth forever wear sneakers with pretty dresses. They look so cute. They look so cute. <laughs> look at this, look at this. You know what, I got a comment the other day on one of my videos and it was like girl fix them janky ass roots and I was like excuse me hair salons do not qualify as medical care <laughs> because that's the only reason that you're supposed to leave your house like for medical care and groceries I mean yes this situation is a tragedy and it does hurt to look at but unless I want to try myself bleaching my regrowth which I have done once before and it was a terrible disaster we're just gonna have to put up with the roots I put on my Instagram story the other day I was like hmm should I dye my hair half pink half purple or should I give myself a wolf cut or should I give myself like a pixie cut or something and people voted and the most popular response was that people want to see me with a wolf cut that is half pink half purple I would like to do that but also I kind of feel like a wolf cut could look really silly because of my regrowth situation. Or maybe, actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe a wolf cut would look nice, actually. Like, maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, leave your comments down below uh, about what you think I should do. Because um, essentially my plan with my hair, because I've I've ruined it beyond belief. Like, it is, it's so damaged now. There's just, there's no saving it. Uh, there's a couple more hair videos I want to make before I step back 
go au naturel and never touch my hair again. I have some products that uh, I've been told could potentially fix my hair, fix it, like make it nice and lush again. So I'm gonna do like a, a one month or two month long trying to save my hair video where I test these products over the course of a couple of months to see how they help. I also wanna do the half pink, half purple, definitely. I've always wanted like a bob of just, I've wanted a bob for years, a blonde bob. So I was thinking like I could do the wolf cut first and then I could cut my hair to like shoulder length, enjoy a blonde bob for a little while. Then while the blonde bob is sort of growing a little bit, I'll end up with some more regrowth. And then for like the grand finale, I could cut off the dyed bits and just have my natural hair like super short. It, it would essentially by that point, like if it's this length now, maybe by that point it might have grown to this sort of length. I could possibly chuck a Brittany. The only reason that I don't just shave my head is uh, because of my mom, because I, I think my mom would actually kill me. Like, like quite literally, she, she'd be like, I gave birth to you. Yeah, I gave you life, I can take it away. So anyway, there's lots of, lots of ideas floating around in my head about what I want to do to my hair before I go back to my natural red. But I'll tell you what, I am very excited to go back to being a redhead. I have missed it. I've enjoyed the experimentation. I've enjoyed the process of ruining my hair. It's been a lot of fun. I, I kind of really wanted to go blue, but everyone said to me, oh, you know, blue is really, really hard to get out. But that being said, if I was just gonna shave my head, it wouldn't matter if I couldn't get the blue out. Anyway, tell me your thoughts down below. Thanks for sitting here and listening to me ramble. It's very lonely. <laughs> it's nice to have someone to talk to. Thank you for listening. I'm back and uh, my rules are clothes go straight in the wash. Come in contact with the people from the outside world, wash the clothes, burn them. I'm in love with this style of dress, as you guys know. I actually think I would pass on this color, to be honest. I just think it doesn't quite suit my complexion. The yellow one, I loved it. The white one, I'm interested to see what it looks like because I, I don't often wear white dresses, but this one, yeah, I feel like it kind of, it washes me out a little bit because I'm kind of a pale peachy person myself anyway. So it might be a little bit too much, but uh, doesn't mean that I'm not going to wear it and love it. I'm, I'm just saying. I, maybe if it weren't for Case Defy and this being a sponsored video, I probably wouldn't have got this one. But I did feel very cute today. And also the skirt is such a nice length that when you wear like a cropped sweater or something over the top, it just looks like a really beautiful long midi kind of skirt and it, oh, it's so pretty i love it so i'm gonna go chuck this in the wash and then let's try something else hello uh slight slight problem so um i decided to have a shower you know because biohazard <laughs> and uh, I, I just wanted to decontaminate myself and while i was in the shower i thought you know what how about i wash my hair yeah, yeah, seeing as I'm here, I'll wash my hair. I was washing my hair and then I thought, seeing as I'm washing my hair, how about I try out this product that I haven't used before? Schwarzkopf Blonde Toner. Anti-yellow technology plus Omega Plex. I thought, ah, anti-brassy. Good, because what was once platinum blonde is now starting to turn kind of yellowy. I put the toner in as per the directions, and then I washed it out, or I tried to. Um, my hair is purple? Grey. Greyish purple. Uh, what do I do? I have this afternoon, shampooed this three times. I've blow dried it. I've tried different products. Uh, nothing I do will make this grayish tone go away. Uh, and I, the, I didn't even leave it in for very long. The thing said like leave it for five to 10 minutes or whatever. 
maybe I left it for five, like at most. And the, the parts where it did wash out, which are kind of like up here, which I suppose these parts up here, this would be the uh, least bleached part of my hair, because think of it this way, all of this would have been the hair that got bleached in Japan, which then got re-bleached a while later and then re-bleached again. This up here was the regrowth that got bleached once when I went and had it done platinum blonde. So this part has had the least amount of damage and that is the part that has not turned purple. It's kind of almost gone greenish gray, but this part, the lower part, which is the, the fried part, yeah, purpley gray, purpley gray. So, um, I don't know what to do. Has this happened to anyone else? I wasn't planning on having purple hair. You know what? Part of me wants to tear me up. <laughs> so, this is pure coincidence. I did not mean for this to happen, but maybe it's a sign from the universe. Because last time I filmed a video about House of CB, you guys might remember that I stopped halfway through the video and I pulled out this box of hair dye that I got from YesStyle that I really wanted to try. And then I dyed my hair and then I went on with the video. Well, funny, you guys might remember I have this. This is that same brand, Hello Bubble, which is what I used to dye my hair in the last House of CB video. But this colour is called Metallic Ash, and I bought it online thinking that it was like a purple kind of colour, but when it turned up it's actually, it's very, well, uh, maybe I should have known from the name Ash, that it's kind of like grey, it's a greyish purple. But it, it kind of m makes me think maybe, because my hair is like grey, greyish purple, maybe I should dye it with this? I mean, this is completely different to anything I had planned, and I also don't know if this is going to wash out. Uh, I don't know what colour it would wash out to, I don't know if it would just stay dark. I'm assuming it's going to go purple, because if you look on the side here, it's got this little chart that shows like a, a brown coloured hair, and it's kind of like this purpley grey. If you've got black hair, it's still, like a, it's like a blackish greyish purple, but that's the lightest colour they're showing there, but my hair is a lot lighter than that. So maybe if I use this on very light hair, maybe it would be more of that kind of light purple grey. Or maybe it would be exactly this colour and I would hate it. Can't get any worse, to be honest. I've ruined my hair. I'm going to not do it in this video. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm not going to do it in this video, <laughs> but I may do it when I finish filming this video. Anyway, let's try the Alicia dress, $281, the white version of the one that I was wearing earlier. Okay, here she is, the Alicia dress in white. I like this so much more than I like the pink one. Yes, the pink one was cute, but I don't know what it is. It's the flowers, that's what it is. I know exactly what it is. It's it's the flowers. The cottage core vibes. It's so beautiful. Sorry, don't mind my bruised leg. Uh, I don't even know. I, I have no reason. I was gonna say, oh, don't mind that. That's from gardening or that's from po pole dancing. Nope, nope. I don't even, they just appear. Bruises just appear. You know, something interesting about this dress. This is the same size as the pink one, but this one fits me so much better. So. I don't know if it's something to do with the fabric. They do feel slightly different. The pink one is a much thicker, heavier fabric, and I don't think it's got anywhere near as much give in it. This one's a little bit stretchier, especially through the chest, waist, rib cage area. I can breathe easily and freely. These dresses were made for this exact pose. Ready? You pull it a little bit, and you put the hip out. Something like this. <laughs> I feel so elegant and so ready to put on a straw hat and have a picnic. And uh, it's funny because I said that last time that I filmed a video about cottage core dresses and then lockdown happened and um, picnics were a thing of the past. So one day, one day I promise you guys, I'm gonna gather a group of my friends and we can wear cottage core dresses and go on a picnic uh, if there's a particular brand that you want me to do that with because it'll be like the, the one type of dress in multiple different body shapes 
uh, in multiple different colors or whatever, tell me where you want me to get that dress or those dresses from. Do you want it to be House of CB or maybe another brand? And then we can all try them and have a picnic when we can all see each other again. <laughs> Anyway, alright, so this next dress is the Carmella dress. This one is a bit cheaper than the last two, despite the fact that it's a very similar style with the tie-up sleeve and the slit here and the cinched-in waist. It's actually quite a different dress. So this one's 241 Australian dollars and style-wise through here, this is a very, very stretchy fabric and I, I don't know what you call this. Maybe, do they call it like shirt or something? See how when I pull it, it stretches out. So this is actually a lot more comfortable than the other two. The other two have boning through them, which does give them that really, really nice structured look. But this is definitely more wearable. I kind of wish that they made the cottage core pattern with this rather than the boning because there's the, the boning kind of keeps you upright and you don't want to eat too much. And even sitting in the car can be a little bit uncomfortable, not uncomfortable, but it's not comfortable, but this, this is comfortable. I could actually wear this all day, lounge around in it, go out to lunch in it. I really wish that the sleeves were already done with a bow and maybe a little bit of a stitch. Because if you look at the picture, they always make the bows sit so nicely. And then any time that I try to tie it myself, it just doesn't sit in the right spot. And I, I don't think it looks right. <laughs> I would love if they just sort of did it for you and then if it didn't fit your arms right maybe you could unpick it and adjust it but I just wish that they had like some sort of set standard like this is how we recommend the bow is done that would make my life a little bit easier what I will say is I won't wear this a huge amount I'm contemplating whether I want to give it away to a friend or whether I want to keep it because it's really nice and I don't have a huge amount of black dresses but also just wearing it like this I can't really picture how I would want to style it, but let me give it a try. If I want to live my best witch fantasy, I suppose I could wear it like this. I now feel like I am a member of the coven from American Horror Story. And to be honest, now that I'm wearing it like this, I do want to keep it. You know what? Who'd have thought that if you put a pair of shoes on with a dress, it makes it look nicer? Revolutionary. Oh my God, I am. This is, this is cool. This is really, really cool. It's funny, when I was putting this on, I was like, oh, people are gonna laugh and be like, how basic, she wore a black dress with black shoes and a black hat. Yeah, yeah, I did, and I look great. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Okay, all right, the only thing in the world that could possibly make this better. Guys, let's all say it together in three, two, one, pockets. If this had pockets, Please, why? Why no po- why? They just need to be like right there. Right, just, just like that. A pocket, even one. One is better than none. Please, House of CB. All women want is pockets. Why won't you give it to us? You know, if I ever opened a clothing store, like an online store, I would have a category for clothing with pockets. Like you, you, you've got dresses, tops, shoes, skirts, pants, clothing with pockets. It's essential. The category needs to exist on every website. <sighs> I love this. You know what? If you're not so into the pastels or you're not really into the florals, but you like this style of dress, go for this one. This dress makes me really, really happy. And I suppose, yeah, I, I don't wear black a lot and I like to wear pastel clothes, but I could probably dress this up with something pastel. What about this? You know what? Not only is it a great dress, also functions as an excellent midi skirt. I'm just, I'm so happy. Okay, I don't want to take this off. I, I would happily wear this around my house all day, <laughs> seeing as that's the only place that I will be existing for the next who knows how long. Until the next time I have to go to the doctor. Speaking of, I'm sure people are wondering why I suddenly was at the doctor and having x-rays and blood tests and everything. Uh, lots of reasons. There's a lot going on at the moment. I've got nose related problems, still ongoing. It's almost a year now since my second operation and we're still having complications. Uh, and then there's other things on top of that. 
Uh, I am going to be telling everyone about it. About everything. All will be revealed in a tell-all video at some point. It's not that exciting. It's, it's nothing to be worried about. I'm fine. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at this next dress. Another black one and a completely different style to anything that we've tried so far. <laughs> okay, so this, this is the Francesca dress. I got this on sale. It was $180. I really like it. It's very nice, it's very elegant. The only problem is, I literally can't walk. I can't walk at all. I feel like I've just been bundled up in every single Skims product that Kim Kardashian has ever sold. Someone just like tied them all together and has wrapped me in it to keep me restrained. It's a lovely dress. It's amazing. Like it's actually amazing. It's, uh, the material is so thick. It's, uh, very, very thick and it's kind of like sucking everything in. My waist is not this small. It's really not. This is, it's almost like a corset, the way that this dress is sort of pulling me in. It's uh, shaved a good couple of inches off my entire body. I got this in an extra small. I don't remember why. I don't know if I thought, oh, maybe because it's stretchy, I should go extra small instead of small. Or maybe it was the only size available. I don't know. But actually, I'm kind of happy that I did go for the extra small because it's, tight enough that it's doing me favors. It's also not so tight that I can't breathe. I just can't walk, that's that's all. Like if I, if I try to take a step, that's as far as my leg goes. That, that's as far, like that. Uh, it's very super stretchy material. Like I can kind of stretch my legs like this, but it's got a lot of bounce in it. It's very elasticy. So if I take a step, I, I step like this and it kind of like bounces my legs back. So I'm like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> like, like a rubber band, you know, like if you're doing resistance training with a rubber band, the band kind of like pulls you back this way. Walking is like resistance training. So I guess in a way, it's a workout wearing this dress. I've paired this with some jewelry that I very rarely get the chance to wear. Because this is such a plunging neckline, it gives me the opportunity to wear these kind of long necklaces that I don't normally wear. This is a parrot pendant from Swarovski that's got an adjustable chain, so you can make it short or you can make it long. But because of this neckline, I finally have the opportunity to wear this quite low. Also, I have the one earring with the parrot and then the one stud, which did infuriate me when they launched this collection because I was like, why not two parrot earrings? Why not at least give me the option to buy a second one on its own instead of having to buy the extra green stud? It's annoying. I, I could be tempted to buy an entire second set just to get this again. But uh, anyway, I feel very classy. I feel like a woman from a Bond film. Wearing a silhouette like this and simply crossing your leg like that. Ah, luxe, rich, expensive. And it's actually the cheapest dress. I really, really like this. This is like one of my favorite dresses now. I am not really one to ever like wearing plunging necklines because I don't have a lot going on up here. But you know what? I don't even mind. I don't mind in the slightest. I love it. I love it. I love it. How is it from behind? Oh, I love it. I love it. I wish House of CB would release like a, a pin-up collection. How good would that be? Oh my god. They've got a cottagecore collection. Why not pin-up? Please. Ah, oh, I love this. I love it. Oh, I want my husband to see. I don't often bother my husband when he's working from home. I feel like I should. Oh, it's elegant there. <laughs> what do you think? Wow. Where would I wear this? Uh, uh, an art gallery. An art gallery. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad idea. Like an exhibition? Yeah, if I was in charge of the exhibition. <laughs> yes, it's like, and now you'll, you'll see this one. So you, you, you know that that's how I walk? Yes. How did you know? Look how tight it is. 
Also, I'm right downstairs so I can hear you. You can hear my little tiny <laughs> steps. My little baby steps. It's like she's either walking very fast or walking very little. It's it actually because of the way that it sort of pulls, I can't really balance in these shoes because like when you take a step forward, it pulls you, which makes a bit of a wobble. So like I actually I I literally I'm good at walking in heels. I am an experienced high heel high heeler. But, excuse me. Have you tried over exaggerating your. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like with momentum. Like over and over faster. How, how do they. How do they do it in. Oh yeah? Like that, you mean? Yeah. Like, like, um, Fleur de la Coeur, whatever it is. <laughs> Fleur de la Coeur. Fleur de I would so wear this out. Hey, hang on, come. Picture we're going out to dinner, right? Picture lockdown's over. Take my hand. Yeah. Take my whole life too, because I can't help falling in love with you. So we're, we're going out to dinner, right? Yeah. Okay, come over here. Yeah. We're, we're walking to the restaurant. Yeah. All right. Okay, just act natural. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Maybe that's the trick. We walk backwards to the restaurant. Oh, ah, yeah. ready? Ready? Yep. Ah, oh. Solved it. So much easier. <laughs> so much easier. Okay, alright, now. Okay. And now we're leaving the restaurant and it's just. Ah, yep. See, that's just, fine. Just walk away. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I could do the. Oh, I dropped something, except I can't touch my toes. What do you mean you can't touch your toes? If I was going to wear this out, it would have to be somewhere where we get out in the car park, right? We go like this to the elevator, it takes us up, we go, yes, hello table for two, please. And then we sit. That's the extent of it. Or it's like a cocktail party and you're, you you get there and you're, you're just standing, you've got like a high cocktail table and you're like, you know, Oh yes, my martini, thank Lady. you, waiter. Oh, oh, prawn cocktail, yes, thank you. Sorry, shrimp cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spring roll, yes, thank you. Ah, oh, yes, oh, long time no see, how are you? Oh, hi, darling, mwah, mwah, good to see you, yes. That's it, that's, that's. No, 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 you do the classic, oh, we should take a photo. And, and you just try and pull people to you like a oh, magnet. Oh, so good to see you. Come, 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 let's go. <laughs> come, let's have a picture, come on, come. Come. Yes. Oh, it's so good to. Hello. How have you been? Oh, hello. Kiss me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I tripped and I fell. It's nice to see you again. If you want to be the other woman at a funeral. <laughs> again, that's it. Oh, 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 Thank you. Or if you're trying to be the mysterious person, and oh, like. Oh yeah. Hang on. Mysterious. And it's just like you look mysterious wearing sunglasses. Sunglasses! Oh. There you go, there's the look. It's like pearls. Jewelry. Pearls! We should do a video where you style me. Daniel, I wouldn't have thought to... Why are you so much better at this than I am? This is ridiculous. Little does she know I'm making her Cruella de Vil. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Lovely? Stunning. I think you've done it, Dan. I think you've turned me into Carmen San Diego, and I love it. Yeah. But, uh... That's it. I've got one more dress, but you don't need to see that because you've, you've already seen it a million times. And here it is. You guys already know how much I love the Tallulah dress. I live for it. I have it in yellow and I wear it all the time. It's glorious. The pink one, I don't like it as much as I thought I would. I'm not saying I don't like it. I do, I love it, but the yellow one, the, the yellow one is just so beautiful. And also the blue one that I ordered that never came. I had very high hopes for that too. The pink one, I can't really say much more other than it's amazing. If you didn't watch my first video about House of CB, if this is the first time that you're seeing me review this type of dress, it's got uh, this kind of netting in the shoulders here, which is meant to be used to sort of pad up the shoulder. This can be a little bit itchy, especially if you have sensitive skin. That's uh, the biggest downside for me. But because of that netting, it gives you these enormous puffy sleeves. And when the sleeves are that puffy, 
and the waist is cinched in. It kind of accentuates the waistline and makes it look even smaller. It doesn't have any padding in the cup area, but it doesn't need it because it's got so much kind of volume here. It's all sort of bunched together and it's adjustable too. So if you need to make it bigger or smaller, it's easy for you to adjust. And the good thing about this dress that I find is it's flattering on so many body shapes. My friend Lucy, last time that she was visiting, she saw this hanging up and she was like, oh, can I try that on please? Cause she's been thinking about buying it. So uh, she tried it on. She looked amazing. Oh, you look like a princess. Wow. It's cute. Oh, it's lovely. I think it looks cute. This dress is just flattering on absolutely everyone. Yeah. Like it is just the best dress that's ever been made. Sorry, strawberry dress who? <laughs> I think, um, I think it's weird for me. I normally wear a bra, so it's quite weird to not wear one because, or maybe I'd have to wear a strapless one, but I think they're the devil. I think they're the worst. Yeah, I don't, I don't wear a bra with that. When yeah. I wear my yellow one, I don't. I don't. Yeah. It's, oh, it's so beautiful. It's cute. Oh, you have to get one for yourself. Uh, maybe. You won't regret it. Yeah, it does feel really nice and the puffy sleeves look nice. I think if I got this in a blue, yes. I like it. But mm -hmm. I do love the cut of it. It's really pretty. You look amazing. Now, one last thing I want to show you before I go are some little bags that I got to match my House of CB cottage core dresses. They're from a brand called Ollie Ella, and I'd never heard of it before, but I saw someone on Instagram wearing one of these bags, and I was like, that's the th that's a mushroom bag. There is no stopping me. No one on this earth can stop me purchasing that bag. So that's this little one. They also have a, there's also a design that's a little tiny house. And then there's a little mini house. And there's also an acorn. It's so cute. These are made for children, actual children. And I bought all of them. <laughs> Yes, I know, they're for kids, but look, you can't look at this and tell me that's not a fit, right? When I go out on my picnic and I take my mushroom bag, look, it's a little mushroom house. It's got a door. Look, the little door opens, see? I don't think that the roof opens. No, no, it doesn't. Uh, I can't fit anything in there. I, I couldn't fit my phone. Uh, I could probably put a lipstick and like some coins and then if I needed them, I would just have to shake it out like that. Look, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Little acorn. Moment of truth. <sighs> Doesn't fit. <gasps> wait. Oh, wait. Hang on. Ah, the little door isn't the only opening. Hang on. Is the mushroom like that? Oh, yes. Ah. <laughs> Yes. You can't tell me it's exclusively for children if it fits an adult mobile phone. So that's it guys, that's everything. That's uh, all the House of CB dresses I have for you today. Thank you so much again to Case to Five for sponsoring today's video because I couldn't have got all of these beautiful dresses if it weren't for the sponsorship. So uh, if you guys want me to review some more House of CB dresses, let me know in the comments down below. Tell me what styles that you're interested in or if there's any other brands that you want me to try out. Also. Remember if I'm gonna get my friends together post lockdown to do like a little cottage core style picnic and we're all gonna dress in some nice cottage core dresses, tell me where you want me to get those from. So uh, with that, I need to go now and figure out this hair situation because a big part of me wants to dye it that gray color. Uh, a big part of me also just wants to go back to red and an even bigger part of me just wants to shave it all off. So I'm going to Dwell on that now for the next couple of hours, maybe a couple of days. Who knows? I like to be spontaneous. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!